Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh For today, we are going to present our assignment which is about chapter 10 carboxylic acid First of all, I would like to introduce my group members The first one is Zarif Akil as our mentor and leader of this group The second one is Ibdina Zafira The third one is Maisara Arya the fourth one is Najmi Zarif and the last one is Iman Ishira. Before I proceed, I would like to give a short brief about what we are going to present today. So basically, we have two tasks to do, which is uh, the two tasks is from is some question from chapter 10 carboxylic acid. So uh, the first one is for question one, we, we need to propose the structure and the name of the IUPAC name. The question 2 is uh, we need to write the equation and also give the name of the white precipitate. The third question is we need to draw a name and also state the observation. And the fourth and fifth question, we need to write the equation of a mine, give the name and classification of, of a mine used. And the last one is question 6, we need to arrange the compound in the order of decreasing reactivity. So the next one is task 2. Task 2 is about the I-Nakri component. For task 1, the situation is a sweet smelly organic liquid C, C10H12O2 is produced from the reaction between an alcohol A and an acid B. Alcohol A reacts with bromine water to produce a white precipitate. Acid C undergoes, undergoes catalytic hydrogenation to form D. B also reacts with thionyl chloride to form its derivative E. Another de derivative B, which is a tertiary amide with molecular formula C7H15NO, is produced when it reacts with an amide. So, Assalamualaikum. Uh, for the first question, which is the uh, purpose the structure and the IUPAC name for compound A, B, C and D and uh, for compound A, the IUPAC name is phenyl because when phenyl react with bromine water, it will produce a white precipitate and uh, for but, uh, compound B, is a butanol acid because when we add the phenyl and butanol acid, it will produce liquid C which is have a C10 H12 and O2 and the IUPAC name for compound C is phenyl butanoate and then for the last one when butanoate acid undergoes the catalytic halogenation uh, it will form the one butanol I think that's all for me thank you Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, my name is Muhammad Najmi Zari bin Zahbudin. Uh, my metric number is 9201348 and I from KSF9. Today, I will explain my question. The question says, write the equation when alcohol A reacts with bromine water and give name to the Y precipitate form. Based on this question, we know uh, alcohol that uh, that will give a positive result is phenol and we know that alcohol A is a phenol phenol when it reacts with bromine water will give 246 tribromophenol 246 tribromophenol is the white the name of the word precipitate right here uh, that's all for me I hope it's all clear and I will give it to the other guys. Okay, my name is Maisara Alia binti Mohd Baharum. 9201343 is my matrix number. And I would like to present about structure E. Uh, the picture shown is for the structure E. And the name is butanoyl chloride. The product form is white fumes or HCl. Uh, 
Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Norina Zafira binti Zaid and my matrix number is 9201335. So based on the slide, this is the equation for write the write the equation for the formation of the amide. So in the picture, butanoic acid will react with N-methyl ethanamide and will produce N ethyl N methyl butanamide which is C seven H fifteen and O based on the question above. So for the question five, which is give the name and classification of for the amine used in the reaction. Well, the name of the amine is N methyl ethanamide, and the classification of the this amine is secondary amine. Next question six, arrange compounds A, B, and D in the order of decreasing reactivity and explain why. First, carboxylic acid is more acidic than phenol and alcohol because of the resonance stabilization of the carboxylic ion. The carbonyl group in carboxylic acid is an electron withdrawing group EWG which reduce the electron density of hydroxide ion. It makes the bone weaker and H plus is easily donated. Phenol is more acidic than alcohol because the phenol side ion is more stable than alcohol side ion. This is because the phenol side ion stabilized by a resonance effect. And lastly, Alcohol is the least acidic because of the alkyl group is an electron donating group, EDG, that tends to release electron to the alkoside ion. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Iman Ishira binti Abdul Rahman and my matrix number is 9201365. For task 2, we need to find a Quranic verse that relates to the chapter that we are presenting, which is the carboxylic acid. Next, we need to find the structure of organic compound that is related to the verse. Uh, so basically, the functional group is carboxylic acid, and uh, we choose uh, great as, uh, as the plan. And the related Quran verse is Surah al muminun chapter 23, verse 19. As we can see in the slide, this is the Quranic verse that we have choose, uh, which is from Surah Al Mu'minun, chapter twenty-three, verse nineteen. Uh, I want to be Allah says in Al Quran that we cause to grow for you thereby gardens of dead palms and grapes. For you, there are many fruits in them, and from them do you eat. One of the components in grape is methyl antranilate or methyl 2 amino benzoate. Methyl antranilate is a clear colorless to pale yellow liquid or crystal with bluish fluorescence. The methyl antranilate contains the ester functional group, which is a derivative of carboxylic acid. A 100 gram grapes provides about 69 kilocalories of energy, 18.1 grams of carbohydrates, 15.48 grams of sugars, 0.16 grams of fat, 0.72 grams of protein, 0.9 gram dietary fiber and 81 gram of water. These are the benefits of grapes. Grapes are a good source of fiber, potassium and a range of vitamins and other minerals. The nutrients in grapes may help protect against cancer, eye problems, cardiovascular disease and other health problems. Grapes are a powerhouse of antioxidants. They contain a wide range of phytonutrients, right from, from the carotenoids to polyphenols. Studies have revealed that these phytonutrients 
help in preventing certain kinds of cancers and help in maintaining heart health. Grapes are suitable for people with diabetes as long as they are accounted for in the diet plan. Lastly, grape skin extract has been shown to protect against the flu disease in test tube studies. That is the end of our presentation for today. Uh, I hope all the information that we uh, we have delivered is clear and easy to understand. So that's all from us. Thank you.